ladies and gentlemen, we have a new post today regarding healing. It's in Wall Hat, and here's what it says. Dear healers of Azeroth, in today's beta build, we're making some significant changes to healing. We are increasing the health pools to be relative to Dragonflight. And then most notably, we are reducing the strength of percentage-based healing to keep them in line with uh, the new changes. And we are increasing the effectiveness of hybrid healing and single target heals to ensure the remaining uh, effective means of defensive power. We hope... And again, we hope that these adjustments are not going to change healing. We intend to shift some of the challenging moments from overhealing burst to damage to a more sustained healing profile. Now, I have the feeling that I've read this post at least three or four more times in the past and nothing has changed in healing. And let's talk a little bit about why that is. The biggest problem with this post is that it knows what it wants to do. It wants to make the healing non-bursty and more sustained. But the problem that brings us to this post is not even mentioned here. And that's design. And by design, I mean dungeon design and also class and skill design. Because why are healers basically not needed right now? Because we've seen very high keys done without healers. And the answer is very, very simple. People have so many defensives. And we also have augmentation evoker in the game. And on top of the personal defensives, we have group-wide defensives. So when they design encounters, they keep all of these things in mind. And imagine if a group goes into a fight and they don't have defensives and they don't have augmentation evoker and things like that. Right now, with the current tuning, they're just going to die. It's not healable. It's not plausible for a healer to do everything on themselves. But imagine the same fight designed without thinking about people having too many defensives and without augmentation evoker. If they tune the damage in such a way and the group goes in with the augmentation evoker and with the defensives, the healer is not going to be needed at all simply because they'll have enough tools to deal with the damage without needing any additional heals. So from that perspective, it doesn't matter what you do to health pools. It doesn't matter what you do to single target healing. It doesn't matter what you do to AOE healing, to hybrid healing. All of these things are going to be useless until the design is actually changed. If you try to read a little bit of information on this topic on the forums, you're going to see posts like healing was so cool back in Cataclysm or uh, back in uh, the Burning Crusade or Wrath of the Lich King. And the reason for that is that people didn't have a million defenses back then. They didn't have group-wide shields that the mage are casting, because why is the mage having a defensive that's group-wide, right? They didn't have augmentation evokers. So basically, when somebody took damage there, they would have one option, which is a healing pot. And maybe they would have one very long defensive, but that's everything you had. Now, tanks have so much self-healing that healers don't need to heal them. We have things like leech and defensives and shields that people can throw on themselves. So all of these things neglect the need of a healer. In order to fix the problems that we're facing, we basically need to go back there. And the sad part is that there is no defensive burning happening right now. Uh, I don't know if they're going to ever get rid of augmentation evoker, but they should at least switch the augmentation evoker to be more focused on buffing people's damage and having left def less defensive capabilities and having less group-wide defensives as well. And I'm saying this because I think that the only way to fix healing is to let the healers heal, but without putting into the equation everybody else's skills. Because once you do that, these skills at some point become so powerful that the healer is not needed at all, or if people don't use them, things are just unhealable. So until all of that remains like this, healing is going to feel bursty, it's going to feel bad, and nobody's going to enjoy it. Now, there's an argument that people need defenses for, let's say, outdoor content or solo content or delves or something like that, and that's fine. That's true. But you don't need to have those defenses and those skills that you need to survive in that type of content embedded into the class tree, into the spec trees, etc. You can very easily make a design where if you're going to a Dwarf, 
you get some skills the same way as we were in Torghast. You can get some extra skills, which are going to be defensives, which are going to help you survive inside of the Dwarf. If you're going to farm outside in the world and you're in a solo group, same things. Once you leave the city or the main capital, you get some skills that you can use or some buffs or whatever. And obviously I'm not a designer, but that is something that can easily be dealt with through some smart decisions and design, which is not going to affect the rest of the gameplay types. I think that this is also going to simplify the classes because if you're never going into the outside world or doing delves or whatever, doing solo content, you won't care about those extra buttons and you're going to have less button bloat inside of Mythic Plus or Raids or whatever. So yeah, those are my two cents on this topic and I'm very interested to hear what you guys think in the comments below because obviously this is such a painful topic and it has been for a while and from what I'm reading, I don't think it's going to change in the war within. Hopefully I'm wrong, but time will tell. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Now get out of here.